Um, I mean, it's easy to lose hope and feel gloomy about the future right now. I think everyone will, will um, agree with that. And if you're out of work and looking for a new job, you know, even if you're generally an upbeat person. So what tips or tactics do you have to help people see beyond the kind of current feeling of, of gloom and to a brighter future? Yeah, it's very difficult because I think, you know, people should be entitled to feel upset and distressed and sad. And it's true that we always want people to be positive. But I think I would sort of say, you know, be in touch with your disappointment and kind of take it on board, but then don't wallow in it. That's the thing that I would the, the, the main thing I would just say, you know what, look ahead and, you know, think how can I sort of make things better in the future? How can, you know, even if something goes wrong, just kind of you don't get the job or just think, OK, you know what, this happened, I'll do better next time. And just kind of try to keep this perspective uh, by not thinking too much. Once again, all these extra thoughts, as Suzanne was saying, too many thoughts when we're stressed. It's true. Just try to like say, hey, you know what, I am not going to wallow in, in this. I'm not going to think about it. I am going to think about how things can be better. And, and I think it takes discipline to do that, but it's also a way to limit the upsurge of negative thoughts. But at the same time, I think it's important not to suppress them too much because then you bottle it up and it comes back with a vengeance. So you have to mourn things, as we were saying, and to kind of, you know, make room for things and say, yeah, you know what, I feel really bad right now. And that's how it is, but I will feel better soon. And I think both of these things are important. This sort of recall rebound kind of thing a bit. <laughs>